right near Omaha, Nebraska, picking up a load here. Actually, I'm unloading here, and I'm going to be picking up a load about 50 miles from here in Iowa, going back to my homestead, Central Florida. So, it's really nice up here. Cool temperatures, open farmland, it's really nice. It's good to be in a different area, so welcome hang on let's head to florida actually let's head to iowa first and then to florida all right we're shutting the doors i swept the trailer and where we're going next they don't want it to smell it's a food product we're picking up and i had styrofoam in here and it had that chemical smell of plastic and styrofoam so i took my bottle of fabrice in there and sprayed it around and accidentally walked in a big cloud of it now i smell like fabrice i wish i had one of those in truck stops when some of the uh truck drivers that don't take showers had <laughs> walk by i could just spray them with fabrice that probably wouldn't go over too well. Let's get going to Iowa and we'll pick up our uh, stuff going down to Florida. Ugh. I gotta get that smell out of me though. I smell like flowers. Now Rand McNally wants me to turn down that road but I'm not listening to what Rand says this morning. See, we're here and they want me to turn left right there and then go through some trees and bushes. But, take this paved road out here and that's how we're gonna go. So don't always do what your GPS says, even if it is a Rand McNally. You gotta have some brains. If you're from Southern California, do you remember Helm's Bakery? Haha, uh -huh. I do. When I was a kid and lived in Orange County, California, there was a bakery called Helm's Bakery. And it was a truck that would drive around to every house, you know, up and down the streets like an ice cream man, just the same concept. And they had a little contraption in the back of their truck, just like in there, and you'd pull out the tray of donuts, and your mom would buy them for you. And her. They went out of business. You're watching Adventures in Trucking with Indiana Jack, and I don't even know who that is. Hello? All right, we're here. They do not have any shipping and receiving signs. I think I'm gonna take a uh, donation up for these companies to get signage. Oh, I see a sign down here. Shipping department, I do. Stand corrected. Alright, let's go check it out. We're at Jack Link's. Smelling like air freshener. Not just any air freshener, Fabrice. I can smell it a little bit, but I think we got away with it.
I'm opening up these doors first to let it air out even more before I even go in there. But it won't be my nose that makes the judgment. You're welcome. All right, we got a door. It's one of those back into a dark dock one doors though. A criticism I have of these new air tandems. They uh, lock up too soon and by the time you get up to your truck and try to slide your tandems, they've already locked back into place, so you have to hurry. So quit delaying me, will ya? how good I did good or bad all right we're good I don't smell any Fabrice Brought to you by Fabrice, when the load and the driver have to smell good. We got here at 11 o'clock. It is now 3 o'clock. It's been four hours and they just told me it's ready. So we're going to hook up to the trailer and uh, get our paperwork and get a couple of miles in today anyway. All right, we finally got hooked up and the tandem slid and all that. And now we're gonna get our paperwork. All right, we're getting out of here. We have 1,445 miles to go. Should be a good trip. Hopefully this gate will just open all by itself. Out 150 miles only today. That'll take the edge off, and then we'll have to do the rest the next two days. So let's get rolling.
made it to Kansas City, so I haven't been to this truck stop in years, this uh, Flying J, so it's good to be here. I feel like I'm home. See you in the morning. Getting out of Kansas City, rolled out of bed early. Did a pre trip on Old Red. I had some work done while I was in Omaha the other day. I had uh, my tires balanced because my front end was vibrating. And that took, took a, uh, that problem away. It's not vibrating, it's not pulling to the right anymore. And I had an oil change done too. Didn't have to idle last night. We're going to be getting on 70 uh, as soon as we get up to it. Heading through St. Louis on our way to Central Florida. We sure, sure do have a wacky intersection here. It's all been redone. It's one of those crossover intersections. They've been putting these in more and more lately. If, if I were a drinking man, it might be a bit confusing. to Kingdom City here in Missouri just gonna run in for a quick cup of coffee and run out so you guys can come in if you want to stretch your legs but we're only gonna be here for three minutes so let's get going well they actually had some jack links in there I didn't get any I got donut links Donut links are not made with beef. I have heard this though, they're coming out with a Fabrice flavored Jack Link. When you want your beef to taste like freshly laundered clothes, That will be the theme.
there's a guy named Jason on another YouTube station called the Trucker's Coach. I've just recently started listening to him. He's very entertaining and communicates things about trucking that I didn't know and I don't know. It, it's not a good show for you if you know everything. Don't, don't watch it. But if you want to learn things, not just about Traveloco where I work, but just general information about trucking, he's a good place to get that information from, a good source. You know, don't, don't uh, drink the Kool-Aid of any one person and just take what they say as 100%. You do your own research for what anyone says, including the trucker's coach. But he at least gives you a place to start looking for information about what's out there. If you're wanting to get into trucking or if you own your own truck and want to know where to bring it, he'll give you some information. Check out the trucker's coach and he'll give you that information. We're almost to St. Louis. If you've never been up in that arch, it's a pretty interesting uh, story and a pretty interesting ride. You're actually riding in this little pod-like thing. represents the uh, gateway to the west. miles today on our Jack Links run and this truck stop just a little bit of history as far as I'm concerned me and you guys this is where that CRST truck jackknifed in the film uh, Ice Road Truckers. You know what? I don't know if there's any... Uh, what in the world do they have that cone out there for? did get lucky. And this is our logs for today. Based on East Coast time. And a lot of people ask what logs I'm on. Uh, keep trucking. 
And is it uh, legal right now? It's legal right now, but in December, this same app with my iPad will be hooked into my truck with the ELD electronic navigating device. So uh, it'll be, it has to be compliant by December 18th. And that's when we're all going to elect full on electronics. So hopefully that answers all those questions about what we're doing, what I'm doing here at Traveloco. I love this app. It's a fantastic app. I don't know if I'll love it when I get the ELD, but as of right now, it's a great app. A good one for if you're worried about converting, you old timers, this is a good one to convert with. It's called Keep Trucking. Find it in your app store for whatever device you're using. And tomorrow we have 618 miles to go. On into uh, Kissimmee. So we don't have to be there till tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the evening. So we don't have to hurry, which is good. I will sleep in. For me, sleeping in is still, I automatically wake up at 4 anyway. But I'm not setting my alarm, that's sleeping in. And we'll just see what time I wake up. A lot of trucks here, they're backed up still all the way out to the street. We got so lucky. Whew. As far as you can see, there's trucks. And the name of that video that I made here when that CRST truck jackknife was Truckers Winter Ice Highway. My top ranking video of all times who would have thought that I didn't when I was making it but um, that was two years ago right here in this parking lot uh, CRST jackknife right in front of us it is a it is a good video I like that video how it turned out so check it out well this uh, pilot doesn't have showers online yet so I just called and they have showers but there's three or four people already waiting but I still need a shower even though Fabrice is sponsoring this show I still need a shower sometimes a whole bottle of Fabrice won't help and you need good old-fashioned water. <laughs> Let's go get in line. It's going to be a long way, four people ahead of us. So, Plus all of you guys tunning in there, too. It's going to be a mess. Let's go. I have not been in here since they converted this from a Hess to a Pilot. So we'll check out and see if they've redone the showers or... If they're still old Wilco Hess showers. Yes, they have Fabrice here. Hmm. They have not been converted over, but this is still adequate. I don't remember how they looked before. So, this is cool. Even a chair. Does anyone else hang their bag up here? Or only me because I'm taller when they don't have a hook. All right, this is uh, this is where you guys go. Go ahead, go. Go ahead. That's what I'm having because I had donuts this morning. Hopefully this balances it out. You never know. All in all, it was a good shower. You know, I don't think people realize 
they buy something off of a grocery store shelf, what what happened? You know, how does that thing get there? Well, we're trying to show that here. Just just some jack links all the way from up near uh, Omaha, all the way to Florida. So when you pick up that thing off the shelf, whatever it is, you'll know what happened to get that product to the uh, grocery store. Oh no, do you see what I see? Hopefully he's not gonna be here all overnight. But you never know, oh there's a go. He just started it up, so, oh well. Hopefully it won't be too noisy all night. Remember when I said I'd automatically wake up? Well, that's the time. Good morning, everyone. There will be no sleeping in for Indiana Jack. This is just a busy truck stop. I was awake quite a bit here. That There's a pothole right over there. And every drum, dump truck that came in throughout the night would bang on that pothole and wake me up, so. It's sometimes good to go way, way in the back and park where it's more quiet. I slept, but just, I remember waking up here and those dump trucks hit that pothole. But here we are awake on a Jack Link's trip. And we definitely need some fuel, so I'm going to pull over there and uh, get some fuel. That clock is Florida time. The other clock that you saw was local time. That's why there's a discrepancy. No need to send hostile email. And as you can see for Gary in Australia, it is 74 degrees at 342. Six point nine nine fuel mileage. Which isn't too bad, it's it's within range for old red. We're going to be going through Atlanta right between like 7 and 8 o'clock this morning, so right at rush hour. Well, just like I thought. 12 miles from Atlanta, it's bumper to bumper. So, everybody just relax. We're in uh, Macon, Georgia. Just, um, 
finishing my logs and then we'll be out of here. On our Jack Lynx run, I want you to notice something as we leave here. This Love's just opened up a month ago. And all of these trucks that you see, where were they last month before the truck stop opened? You know, most of them are gone right now because it's 10 o'clock in the morning, but even so, there's still got to be a hundred trucks here. So before this Love's opened, all these trucks were parked somewhere else for the night. And there's a lot of uh, stuff around here. There's a, war, uh, a Walmart, tractor supply, and some other businesses. So it's good that truck stops are opening up all over because otherwise these trucks would be parked all over the highway and everywhere else. And this community, actually, Warner Robins, um, made it illegal for trucks to park anywhere in their city so maybe that's why Love's opened up here I don't know there sure are a lot of trucks here on 75 south 83 degrees at 10 13 a.m. This guy certainly is safety conscious. He's only doing three miles an hour, which I guess is a safe speed. It just seems very slow. Maybe he's not so safety conscious he doesn't use his blinker. Just slow. We'll put it in that category. Just slow. Tonight we're uh, going against my better judgment and we're delivering to a food warehouse. Although it's not a real grocery warehouse, 
like uh, Piggly Wiggly's or Ralph's or Safeway or Kroger or something like that. So hopefully we can get away with delivering early. Our appointment's at 8 o'clock. And hopefully they'll just take us early and all will be good. But since we are handling food, one never knows. on-ramp because it's going downhill and so it's easy to get on and gain speed when you're going down a hill so it's perfect all right we're uh, just a mile from the Florida Turnpike we hit this uh, traffic don't know what it is Probably some kind of uh, weather-related accident. We brought Atlanta with us. If this accident is actually on the turnpike, then we're screwed. But if it if it's going straight to Tampa, then we're okay. Then everybody going to Tampa is screwed. So, keep your fingers crossed. Well, it was the Tampa people. We're good. So we'll be there in an hour. I don't know what takes some people so long. I don't know if it's the clerk or if the, the person's an idiot. The person in the car. It was that white car. They were an absolute idiot. Oh well. She said they were just asking directions. Well, here we are. We arrived finally. Two hours early. And I'm uh, trying to observe what's going on. And this guy in the orange shirt, he walked all the way up there, so let's see what he says. What did they say? What do you mean? Like, do you check in or? Yeah, I checked in. You checked in? Yeah. They take us strictly by time, right? Uh, I would check in. Don't let him tell you that. What's your appointment time? Eight. Yeah, I would go down there and check in and see if he'll let you check in. Then they'll call you on the phone. They got a door. Oh, okay. And you got drive freight, so you don't know what I mean. I don't know what the rules are for them, but, you know. All yeah, right. turn that truck around. I see that. Yeah, that, I wish I could pull up down there now. All right, thanks. Opening up our Jack Lane store. Awesome. And they don't even smell like Fabrice. Oh, 
All right. Let's get her in. This one's easy because we got plenty of room. But just when you say something's easy, you never know. Twenty two. Thank you. You're welcome. Now we go to the highway robbery people. The lumpers. Well it's after midnight folks and I'm still here. It's taken them a long time. So I've been here six hours now. So I'm just taking a midnight stroll, nothing else to do. I've already taken a nap, eaten dinner, I've done a whole everything, a whole day's worth right here. Soon I will have been up 24 hours. So, uh, you guys aren't saying too much. up that cab over I'm gonna go in and just raise cane this is the longest one ever eight hours it's ridiculous that guy's been here longer than me they don't have it at the receiving window so I'm gonna go to the lumpers Discrepancy that's going on between the numbers that they actually are counting and the numbers that are on the bill. Okay. Let me get my There's a discrepancy in the paperwork trying to work out what's actually going on over there. They got two receivers working on trying to get it counted. They've had two receivers on it for all that time? I don't know how no. long they've had two receivers on it. We don't know how long the receivers have been on it. So here I sit in the receiver's break room waiting while they hash out the discrepancy. This really is the longest I've ever waited. And don't complain I look rougher on the edges because I know it. A good breakfast, chicken sandwich. Ah, the missing links. Ha ah, ah. ha! Right here in their own store. Well, I got tired of arguing with them. They kept saying there was a discrepancy in the order, but it doesn't show that on the paperwork. Even if it was a double order by mistake, 
they say the shipper screwed up. Why penalize us? You know, being here now, it's 5.06 a.m. I got here at 6 o'clock last night with you guys. So I'll put in detention for this, and uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know if I'll get paid for it. I better get paid for it. Um, the brokers here totally messed up. It's just one of those orders that slipped through the cracks. The missing link, we're counting the jack links. How many more times do you think I'm gonna come back to this place? McLean in Kissimmee, Florida. How many more times? Well, Old Red and I are done for the day one of the longest days since I've been in trucking in 10 years. Been a long day. The only time it might be longer was when we were in on uh, paper logs back in the first few years when I was a trucker. It was a good trip up until the last link. I'm Indiana Jack. Thanks for riding along. I do want to thank the Truckers Coach, Travel Oco, and everyone that rides along with me because trucking really is an adventure. And we'll see you next time. I'm going home and get some sleep here in Central Florida. We'll see ya.